the future is autonomous electric vehicles. Okay, not just EVs, but the autonomous electric vehicles. The internal combustion engine is on its way out. The trend is clear. This is what they're tracking here. The ICE internal combustion is in purple. Hybrid is in gray. Green is the plug-in hybrid. And the blue is the batteries. And you can see again, globally, this is growing quite a bit. The blue bars are going significantly. So this is a great slide. I want to pause here. This is... After more than a decade, most automakers have dropped out of the autonomy race. Tesla and Waymo remain. So in 2014, right, I was like over a decade ago, many automakers, automakers made press releases. They made announcements that they were going to create an autonomous vehicle by 2020. Only Waymo delivered, launching its first commercial autonomous rides in 2018. Tesla plans to launch in 2025. Waymo's launch in Tesla's internal testing of Robotaxi suggests that 2025 could be the standout year in which consumers and businesses agree that the future of transportation is autonomous. So this is their list of the companies that announced in 2014 that they're going to be autonomous Robotaxis. Volvo, you got GM, Audi, Mercedes, Nissan, BMW, Daimler, Continental. They've all made these announcements at these years saying, hey, we're going to be doing it by 2020. And none of them. And now they no no more expectation of launch, no more talk about it, except for Google, Waymo, and Tesla. And for me, when I look at this, it just shows that traditional automakers will say something, but they don't have the skills and ability. You need to be a software company. You need to be an AI company. You need to be a tech company. And those are the ones that are actually going to do it. What's your uh, thoughts on this? A hundred percent. And not just a, a software tech company, but you have to be a really good software tech company in the space of AI. Google is yeah. Yeah. one of the premier AI tech companies in the world. And it would lead you to think that maybe the only other players that could succeed are like someone like that from China, or yeah. if a meta wanted to get into the space, which they don't necessarily, they have other priorities it would take somebody like that to to come in or microsoft with some of the things that they're doing like th these are the only companies on earth that really have the software chops to tackle this problem at least at this point in time maybe it will get easier to solve eventually but anyone who is expecting any of these automakers to be at the bleeding edge of solving this problem they just have not clearly seen the very obvious trends i don't understand why people couldn't do the common sense calculation of I get into my car and I'm immediately teleported 10 years back into the past technology wise compared to every other thing else in my life. And yeah. these people are supposed to have world yeah. leading technology and software. I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. And they're, they're like, that's not by accident that your car has 10 year old technology compared to your phone it's because of the way that the product is built that they're planning 10 years into the future what they're going to build when they make the decisions and they don't have the ability to plan 10 years into the future with 10 year into the future technology they have to say 10 years from now we're going to use the technology that's available today, today. and that's yeah. not how the smartphone industry works that's not how anything else in technology works, but that's how those legacy auto companies work. And so there's not a way for them to keep up with a technology company on something like this. All right. So yeah, thank you. You're absolutely correct there. So here we go. This is very interesting. This is the personally owned vehicle. This is the cost for a mile for personally owning a vehicle, right? So you have $2.10 when you had to have a horse and carriage. And the automobile came out and all of a sudden the cost per mile, because you can go so much further, is a dollar ten, almost half. Then you got it stayed that way for a hundred years, right? For ninety plus years, still the same because the car is a car. But now the potential is it's going to fall to twenty five cents, and you have that adjusting for inflation. The cost of owning and operating a personal car has not changed since the Model T more than a hundred years ago. Arc estimates estimates that the autonomous vehicle taxis at scale could cost consumers as little as 25 cents per mile, spurring widespread adoption. So this is the point about, do people think, oh, I still want to own my own car. I just can't imagine. I'm no, dude, <laughs> when it's 25 cents, you're going to be switching to autonomous and you're just going to ride hill 